Hi, I'm Liz. I go by Stitch by Liz with an underscore over on Instagram and welcome to Flossmas week two. Today is Saturday the 10th of December 2022. Um, and I'm by myself. Ross is at work. Um, so yeah, need to film before like the rest of the world wakes up. It's like 9.30, um, so it's not too crazy, but um, yeah. I'm going to jump into this video. Um, nothing much has happened during the week. Most of my office is out sick, so that's been really interesting. Um, you know, but we're approaching the end of the year. There's seven working days left for me, and I cannot wait. Um, it's going to be really, really good to have just, like, solid, solid time off. Um, all right. During the week, I did finish something. Um, so, Stiotch 8, 8. It, well, it is Stiotch 8. Stiotch 8 um, is starting to wrap up. Um, and the, oh my god, part 7 has was released, which was the Power Pack. Um, if you know what Stiotch is, um, you'll know what I'm referring to. If you don't, um, it's a stitch along where little bits of the pattern get released. Um, and for this, uh, for this year, it created a saying at the top and then the power pack was a whole bunch of different endings. You don't have to do the power pack endings. You can do your own. Um, there are so many in the stitch along eight group. Um, and I was the one, one of the ones that did my own. So this is my finish. So if at first you don't succeed, Look in the restricted section. <laughs> um, and the whole time I was stitching this ending, I was was quoting that scene from Harry Potter. Um, so yeah, it made me chuckle. <laughs> um, this is my own conversion. Um, it is a neon conversion, and this is stitched on a 16 count black, two over one full cross. Um, and then the back stitching is two threads as well. But I love it. I love the way this turned out. Um, so I need to add it to my pile of FFOs to frame to stick on my wall. <laughs> um, so it'll be good. Um, it'll be really good once that's done. Now, <clears throat> sorry about that. Um, sorry, I'm looking at my notes because where am I up to? Um, as part of the nice list, my box still hasn't arrived. That's that's a whole situation. Um, the the Black Needle Society is looking into it. They're amazing, um, and they've been keeping everyone um, everyone updated, which is really good. So, um, as part of the nice list, uh, we got a special advent stitch along, um, and it is Santa's stamp collection. Um, and there'll be a photo because I'm not. <laughs> caught up with today's release so today's release is stamp number nine and stamp number nine that is a christmas tree um but this is where i'm up to uh so this is stitched on an 18 count uh from crafty leany called emerald city um and it is washing it out which is really annoying um but i work down to the stamps and then i'm doing this filling in the stamp as it comes in um as you can see i'm pre-stitching the borders uh, but yeah, day eight and that Christmas pudding was yesterday. Uh, day seven, Santa in his sleigh actually was full coverage as well. Uh, but I decided not to stitch the background. Um, because I love the way that it looks on the fabric. So yeah, eight days. I need to fill in day nine. I did do this frame, this frame, and I finished off this frame this morning before I was filming. Um... So yeah, I will fill this in and then go back to, to doing my my stamp frame, stamp edges, sure. Um, so as you would have seen in the last video, the second project that I, that was picked for 12 days of stitching was the Dimensions Bakery. Which is this one here. This one here in the middle. 
Um, and starting this made me change all of my plans for 12 days of stitching because this is as far as I got. And this was hell. <laughs> this was really, really crap. Um, I don't know where Dimensions gets off thinking they can stitch 4 over 110 on 18 count because it was hideous. Never want to do it again. Uh, so I like took off all my plans of these ornaments um, from my 12 days of stitching and I've completely changed it up because I just can't deal with it. Um, so <laughs> what I'm going to do, and I haven't made this decision yet, is I'm likely going to chart it into Pattern Keeper or in Max Stitch so I can chuck it into Pattern Keeper and view the mock-up. And if I like the way that it looks, I'm likely going to rip all of this out and just do it in full crosses because this is just not enjoyable. Like I hated working on this. Um, it's how many stitches did I do? 503 tenth stitches. And that took me all day. Like 510 stitches. I can do that in like two and a half hours all day. I hated it. It was not enjoying it. Not, not a fan. So at this stage, I'm not going to work on it, but you know, once I've, once I've put it in, once I've recharted it in Max Stitch and put it in Pattern Keeper to view the mock-up if I like the way it looks, I'm just going to do two over one full cross and then just do the back stitching because I just cannot deal with that um, and how painful it is. Like it was hurting my wrists, it was hurting my fingers, it was hurting my hands. Like I was in in pain after that and I'm like, stitching should not cause me pain. So I have vetoed that um, and completely changed my wheel. <laughs> so... Um, on the Monday, Monday the 5th of December, um, it was my next spin. Um, and it spun up the Quokka and Platypus from the Lindy Stitches December Down Under series. Um, I did only work on this for one day, but I got most of the Quokka done. Um, he's missing his little feetsies and like obviously his face details and his Santa hat. But, um, this was 682 stitches. Uh, and this was so much fun. Stitched it up so quickly. Um, like the day I did this, I also worked on Stiotch. I completed stamp number four. And I did more on the frames. So. Yeah. He was really, really fun. Uh, so my next spin was Wednesday the 7th of December. Um, and as you can... Um, as you would have seen, I had changed up my wheel. Um, I added some whips and it did spin up one of my Christmas whips that I started for 12 days of stitching last year. Um, since starting it last year, I've worked on it once for a Frogbots prompt. Um, but this got about 300 stitches over two days because I was trying to finish Stiotch. Um, and then I was still doing my stamps for the Black Needle Society. But this is where I'm up to. Um, this is on an 18 count white 2 over 1 full cross um, and I put in, I'm pretty sure I finished the R and then I did the A and C, part of the E and then this I've started this green leaf which is like almost finished. Um, but I was working on this Wednesday when I was on a video call with Chloe and Felicity and like next to no stitching got done. <laughs> um, it was just so, so funny. It was such an enjoyable time. Like it was, um, it was amazing. Uh, we may have filmed something for their channel. So um, if that's up, I'll link that below. I'm pretty sure it'll be up before, before this goes out. So um, I think we were on until like 11 p.m. my time. Um, and it was just, Honestly, it was just so much fun. Um, yeah. Thank you, ladies. I really enjoyed it. Um, all right. So next up. And, oh, no. Words. Yesterday, so the 9th of December, was another spin. Um, and it did spin up another Lindy Stitches December Down Under. Small. God, words are hard today. 
Um, now I'm going to attempt to pronounce these correctly. Um, so it was the Kakapo and the Tekahe. Um, and they're two Aotearoan birds. And let's hope I pronounce that correctly. Um, so Aotearoa is the Maori name for New Zealand. Um, and these are native birds. So this is as far as I got. Um, I did, I haven't worked on this today. Uh, I did 306 stitches yesterday. Um, and I've filled in this, this whole colour. I've worked up to get to the blossoms. And then I'll work back down. This colour in here, this green, is a pickle by Cottage Garden Threads. They are amazing to work with. They are so, so nice. Um, I really, really enjoyed um, working with it. It's the first Cottage Garden Threads that I have. Um, and it's the first time I'm using them. But they are an Australian company. They are owned by mother and daughter, I believe. Uh, Pam and Katie? It's on the back of the threads and I don't have the thread right next to me. Um, and they are based in Victoria, which is also the state I'm based in, which is so exciting. Um, they do have a storefront, I believe. Um, however, it's like a two and a half hour drive from me. So it's not happening anytime soon. Um, you know, if I'm ever down in that area and they're open, I'll, I'll pop in. Um, literally want their whole collection because they have the most amazing colors. Like they have this flower range and the flower range colors are just incredible um so yeah that they've been really enjoyable to work on they're so nice to stitch up on um and they i should have shared they're on an 18 count that i hand dyed myself so i did one batch with all of the um all of the fabric for the five smalls um and yeah so they'll all be on the same the same colors um now, I am going to provide a little update on the nice list before I go into my haul because I don't, I literally have haul and that's it. Um, so the nice list box still hasn't arrived. Um, Black Needle Society has been amazing with lodging an inquiry with USPS because it was um, priority shipping. It was meant to be here before, um, before the 1st of December. Um, there has been no update to my scanning since the 22nd of November, which is concerning and it's still registering as being in London. Um, I spoke with USPS yesterday to get an update and they said that they have uh, 35 days to investigate and find out what has happened um, and then to get find out where the package is, why it's scanning in London, why it went to London and then hopefully ship it over to Australia. Um, that being said, I have been watching Flossmas videos because I'm not going to not watch them. Um, at this stage, it's not looking like the box is going to arrive in December. So, you know, I'm, I've just made the decision. I'm going to watch Flossmas. I'm going to get spoiled. It doesn't matter. Um, so the Flossmases I have been watching specifically have been Athena, Stitching Goddess Designs, uh, the Black Needle Society, Katie and Lara, um, the Pattern Queens, uh, Keisha and her son, um, which is so cute. Uh, I've been watching Lynn at Lynn X Stitches. Um, and who else? Cece. Um, I think it's GCKS. I'm not 100% sure. I'll have everybody linked down below anyway. Um, and Bobby at Pumpkin Creek Primitive. So they're the main ones I've been watching. Um, there's a few other ones, you know. <clears throat> sorry um sprinkled in here and there but yeah they're the main, main ones that I've been watching um all right so I'm gonna jump into my haul there's not really that much um the November box arrived from the Black Needle Society and my fabric of the month came in as well so I get a uh fat quarter of 18 count and 16 count from Crafty Lini um they're an, uh, an Australian design uh, designer fabric dyer um, and this month's edition is a limited edition uh, fabric of the month, which means it won't go into her normal collection. Uh, and this is called Vintage Rose. This is the 18 count. Um, I'm not going to unfold it, but it's just, it's amazing. Like it's, 
it's amazing. Um, I don't have the description. Um, it accidentally got thrown out. Uh, but I believe she was basing this on big, uh, Victorian wallpaper, I believe. Um, and it does give me that vibe. I absolutely love, <clears throat> love the way this looks. Um, and just to, just to show like the difference in dyeing, this is the 16 count. This is like, incredible so if i like if i put the two together the difference is crazy and i absolutely love the way they've both turned out i love that the 18 count is subtle i love that the 16 count is super bold um because it gives me um it gives me options so you know amazing i love them um this is something i'm going to continue through 2023 and potentially beyond um we don't really have too many fabric dyes um, we don't really have too many fabric of the month clubs at all um but i am going to continue that one um through 2023 2023 i'm trying not to buy any patterns um and i'm going to attempt to stitch from stash that being said limited edition patterns aren't included so if someone's releasing a limited edition pattern and i absolutely must have it I will purchase it, um, but otherwise I'm going to try and hold off. Um, right, all right. I'm going to just quickly show you what came in the Gods, Monsters and Mythology box. And then I need to go and clean my house, stump day, do some washing, etc. Um, so yeah, first up was the Nine Muses notepad. And this is from Kiara Maharaj. Um, super cute. I love it. Um, you all know how I feel about the Greek S as an E. If you don't, my brain can't read that it's an E. My brain goes directly to trying to pronounce it as an S. Um, because I read, I can read and speak Greek like I am Greek. Hence why I can read it and speak it and all that, all that jazz. Um, so my brain, my brain does not compute. Um, next up, so I've just got a pile next to me, so I'm just grabbing grabbing what I can. So next up is this amazing Forbidden Fruit mug by Water of Whimsy. Um, and it is Hades and Persephone. Um, and it's just a, like, it's got some weight, but it's like a really good, like I can hold and be nice and warm and toasty mug. Um, it's just amazing. Like it's summer. So like holding a hot mug for me is not enjoyable. Um, but that is going to get a workout in winter. Um, all right, next up is the Nectar of the Gods Tea. Um, artwork is by Heather Gretton Art, and the tea is blended by Adagio Teas. Um, and it is a black tea blended with decaf Ceylon tea, uh, raspberry leaves, natural pom pomegranate flavor, raspberries, natural cranberry flavor, natural spice flavor, orange, cinnamon, cranberries, ginger, cloves, and cardamom. This smells like Christmas. This just, it's just giving me like warm winter vibes. Um, so like Northern hemisphere Christmas, not Southern hemisphere Christmas, because you know, it's like the surface of the sun here in <laughs> for Christmas. It's just, it's just amazing. It smells incredible. Um, I cannot wait to try that. Uh, next up is the Medusa Aegis Needleminder. Uh, artwork is by Croce. Um, Perseus beheaded Medusa, gifted her head to the goddess Athena for her shield. Uh, next up is the Pandora's Zipper Pool. Uh, and this is like <laughs> super shiny. Uh, so she's just sitting at her desk, opening her box of, you know, doom. Um... <laughs> I love this. I think I might put this on my keys, um, but I also don't want to ruin it. So I don't know. Um, all right. Next up is the stories in the stars, three inch start square. This is designed by the black needle society and the constellations are Hercules, Cassiopeia, Ursa major and Ursa minor. Now I use these all the time because I'm a top left starter. So it sits in the corner and I can put my little pins in and start my projects. Uh, all right, next up is this exclusive hand dyed bag 
by Stitching Goddess Designs. Um, so, yeah. It's um, hand dyed by Athena, vinyled by Athena. It's amazing, I absolutely love it. And, um, like, it's a hoop, and her staff is a needle. <laughs> I love it. Um, I think what I'm going to do is actually make this like a to go pouch that will have like a pair of scissors, some pins, um, my snag nabbit, just like stitchy things. So, like, if I grab a project bag, I can grab this, and if I'm going to stitch elsewhere, I have everything all together. All right, last two things is three ish. Technically, these count as one, but they are threads from Dying for Sass. The first one is Persephone, and it is a subtle variegated purple. Um, and these are really soft. These are really soft. This is my first dying for sass anything. Uh, and the second is called... Don't focus on me, focus on the thread. There we go. Um, and it is called The Fates. So it's like purple, grey, teal, blue. Like this is this is gorgeous. This is absolutely stunning. Um, yeah, I love, I love the way people are able to dye threads. Um, all right, the last thing that came in this box is um, the chart for this box. And I saw this, I watched Lynn's unboxing of this and I'm like, I need this yesterday. Um, so this is the chart and it is Athena by Satsuma Street. Um, and it is stunning. I have already ordered the threads. They have shipped. They are on their way. It is... Um, charted in Cosmo thread um, which is where this variegation comes from because it is a variegated thread um, and I've never used Cosmo so um, I thought I'd give it a try uh, and this is absolutely stunning now I'm gonna I'm gonna go on a bit of a cultural rant right now <laughs> on the back of this chart it says the letters AOE stand for of the Athenians however it's not an O <laughs> So a lot of people get this confused because they believe based on the inscriptions that it's an O. It's actually not. It's a it's it's the Greek letter for th. So it's alpha, theta, epsilon. So the theta in Greek is the th sound. So Athena in Greek is Athena, um, which is where the name for Athens comes from. Um, and that's why it is of the Athenians. So, um, <clears throat> sorry. That's my little rant for today. <laughs> um, it just, it just like, people don't, people don't know. Like if you're not, if you're not Greek, you're not really going to know. Um, but yeah, it's a fitter. A th. Cool. Um, I literally cannot wait. To stitch this chart um i was i will have the video linked below but i filmed an unboxing with chloe and felicity over at fortunate flossies um and they're like we need to sell this and i'm like now <laughs> like now they're like pick a date i'm like today <laughs> no not today um but once i get everything i'll speak with um both chloe and felicity and figure out um, when they'll get their stuff and then we can set a date and we can sell it together and I'm going to literally like I'll probably end up sapping this um, It's not huge. It's 78 by 80. So it's not major, but like I'm just So obsessed with this that I just want to stitch it now um, Anyway, that's me. That's all I've got um, if you've made it through uh, This far and this level of crazy today um, do all the YouTubey things, like, comment, and subscribe. Um, let me know what you're working on because, like I said before, I'm on a self-imposed pattern buying ban as of the 1st of January 2023, unless it's limited edition. Um, so let me know what you're working on because if I don't have the chart and I like it and I want to stitch it, I need to buy it before the 1st. Um, that's all I've got today. I am going to 
go clean my house, put some washing on. My groceries are literally like two minutes away. So I need to wrap this up so I can get downstairs and let them in. Um, so yeah, do all the YouTube things, like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you next week. Bye.